Hello, we are glad to welcome you. You are about to hear a heartbreaking story. Famous psychologist John Walker, at the end of the video will comment on the story of the main character and give professional counseling. As I reflect on the journey that brought me to this moment, I can't help but marvel at the twists and turns that life has taken me through. My name is Claudia, and my story begins with a chance encounter that changed everything. Five months ago, on a regular day that would prove to be anything but ordinary, I found myself in a bustling cafe. Amidst the rhythmic clatter of dishes and the hum of conversations, my eyes met Donald's from across the room. There was an instant connection, a spark that I couldn't ignore. He was the embodiment of calm amidst the chaos, and as we began to talk, it was as if the world around us faded into the background. Those five months felt like a whirlwind, a beautiful and exhilarating dance of emotions. Our connection deepened with every shared laughter, every late-night conversation, and every stolen glance. It was almost as if fate had decided to intertwine our paths, and we embraced the journey with open hearts. And then, in a moment that felt both surreal and profound, we found ourselves standing at the threshold of marriage, ready to embark on a lifelong adventure together. As we navigated the joys and challenges of our new life as a married couple, we received news that would forever change the trajectory of our journey. I was pregnant. The sheer magnitude of this revelation brought a mix of emotions, excitement, nervousness, and a deep sense of responsibility. With every passing day, my body underwent transformations that were both beautiful and overwhelming. My heart swelled with love for the life growing within me, but the physical changes left me grappling with discomfort. Amidst the physical and emotional changes, something shifted between Donald and me. The intimacy that had once come so effortlessly began to feel like an insurmountable challenge. My body, once a canvas of shared affection, was now a vessel of new life and the vulnerability of that experience left me yearning for personal space and time to process the whirlwind of emotions. One day, I walked into our shared space to find a sight that sent shockwaves through my entire being. Donald, a man whom I loved deeply, was engaged in an intimate encounter with a rubber doll. The shock was overwhelming, and a surge of emotions, betrayal, anger, confusion, course through me. I felt a sense of disbelief and heartbreak, a profound ache that seemed to shatter the trust we had built. The confrontation that followed was a whirlwind of emotions. Tears streamed down my face as I demanded an explanation, struggling to reconcile the image before me with the man I thought I knew. Donald's voice, shaky yet sincere, cut through the chaos as he explained that his actions were driven by a need for emotional connection during a time of distance and change. He assured me that his feelings for me remained unwavering and that his intentions were never to replace or hurt me. Amidst the storm of emotions, his words struck a chord within me. As I looked into his eyes, I saw a vulnerability that mirrored my own. I understood the complexities of our situation, the challenges that came with impending parenthood, and the ways in which we were both struggling to navigate this uncharted territory. In the aftermath of that tumultuous moment, we embarked on a journey of healing, understanding, and growth. We talked, we cried, and we confronted our fears and insecurities. I realized that love was not just about the fairy tale moments but also about navigating the rough patches with empathy and communication. Over time, I learned to see beyond the initial shock and understand the deeper emotions that had driven Donald's actions. Our love story, though marred by imperfections, was a testament to our willingness to face challenges head-on and to stand by each other's side through thick and thin. As my pregnancy progressed, I saw Donald's unwavering support and commitment. We faced the uncertainties of parenthood together, our bond strengthened by the storms we had weathered. 
I came to understand that love was not immune to imperfections. It was, in fact, made stronger by our willingness to accept each other's vulnerabilities. Through countless conversations and moments of shared vulnerability, I came to believe Donald's words, that his actions were not a betrayal, but an attempt to cope with the changes in our lives. We worked together to rebuild trust, rekindle intimacy, and forge a deeper connection. After the birth of our daughter, we were very happy and relieved. For a whole year we lived with our daughter. One afternoon when Donald was at work, I decided to throw out some old stuff from the garage. When I opened one of the closets, I saw three rubber dolls and a pile of nude magazines. I put all the facts together and realized why he had been missing in the garage for so long. When Donald returned, I asked him what was going on. He admitted that he liked it and bought two more dolls. He reassured me that he loved me and it wasn't cheating. But this time I didn't believe him. I took my daughter and went to my mom's. I decided to take a pause in our relationship. I realized that it's not cheating, but I can't forgive him yet. I need time and advice on how to deal with this situation. Dear Claudia, your journey has been marked by profound moments of love, vulnerability, and challenge. The complexity of your situation is evident, and your response to the recent discovery of Donald's actions shows your strength in navigating difficult emotions. Taking a pause to reflect and gather your thoughts is a wise step. During this time, it's essential to prioritize your emotional well-being and the well-being of your daughter. Allow yourself the space to process your feelings and decide what is best for you. While it's clear that Donald's actions were driven by his own personal struggles, your feelings of hurt and betrayal are valid. As you move forward, consider these steps self-care focus on your emotional well-being. Engage in activities that bring you peace and help you process your feelings. Communication when you're ready have a calm and honest conversation with Donald. Express your feelings, concerns, and the reasons for your decision to take a pause. Listen to his perspective as well. 